What's up y'all and welcome back to the channel. I'm Frank and this is Morals Over Money. So this is a follow-up interview with Shake. He's a regular on the channel and I'm gonna link his previous interviews in the description. Say when, Baba. So we back here with Shake. Yo. How you doing, brother? I'm doing good, Frank. How you been, man? Long time I ain't see you, man. Yes, it has been a little while since yes, we seen sir. each other. So fill me in. All right. How I'm, you been? I'm, I'm good. I'm doing, you know, good. I'm dibbing and dabbing. I'm not fucked up anymore. I mean, okay. I'm still getting high though, but not, not like I was earlier. You know, the last couple of interviews. Yeah. Um, things are good. Uh, I still got my place, you know. Um, my mom went through a little something. She wound up getting breast cancer, and uh, she fought through. You know, she's a little, she's a little rumbler, okay. and she beat it. So we're happy about that. She's still doing good, alive and kicking. That had me stressed out, you know. Yeah, I bet. That's the me and my mom. That's my baby. I, I, even thinking about something happening. It's gonna uh, be mommy, a bad yeah. situation. Mom is my life. And how old is she now? She's 78, going on 50. Okay, so yeah. she, she's still with yeah. it. Good. Demenda, we call her Tremenda. The name she's, says it all. She's four foot nothing, and will bust your ass. Listen, yeah. so that name says it all. Tremenda yeah. in, in English is like tremendous. Yeah, too so, much. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that, that name says it all. Yeah, she's my baby. So uh, she was a little depressed, you know, for a minute. Yeah. But uh, cause she takes good care of herself, you know. She prides herself like she does. She don't depend on nobody. She okay. herself, she does all her, you know. So it was hard for her to allow. I sat her down and said, Mom, you gotta let people help you. You got a lot of beautiful friends that love you and care yeah. about you. And it was hard for her to accept that help. But she did though, you know what I mean? Yeah. She did and, um, I'm glad that she did it. She got real close to her friends and they all rallied around her. It was incredible. That's you know? good. Yeah, beautiful. That's good. So that, that for me, that just tells me that she's a good person. Oh, she's the best. Because when people come to you in your time of need, yeah. if people rally around you, they you rally. Be a good person. Listen, they would come to her house, bring her food, whatever she needed. They were they there. Were there. And like I said, my mom don't like stuff like to ask nobody for shit. Yeah. She just has her pride. She's so prideful. Okay. So I told her, Mom, you're a Christian woman. You're beautiful. People love you. Let us help you. Let us be there for you, you know? And she, and she wound up, you know, taking my advice. You know, me and my mom are, are the truth. You know, she's my baby. And uh, she's funny because when it's cool, I be down here, you know, and she knows I be down. I don't lie to my mom, you yeah. know? She but knows. Anytime what you... I feel I'm feeling something wrong, yeah. Oh, I feel bad. She's right on the fucking messenger. Beep, 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 beep. Calling. And when I go, 
Well, when I go to do my shot, be, 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 be. That's I'm where like, my mom was. Right? Yeah, and she's right in tune with me. You know yeah. what I mean? She knew exactly. She knew what was going on. Exactly. Before I knew what? Was going what? On. It's crazy the connection we have. You know? And me with her, when I feel, I feel her. She said, "Boom, mom, what's up? You yeah. all right?" And I come. And uh, you know, that's my baby, man. That's that's gonna be the hardest thing I ever have to deal with, ever. You know? And I and I try to prepare myself for it. And just thinking about it, it's too much. It's too fucking much. I start bawling. I'm like, nah, fuck this. She ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? And, yeah. And it, so let me ask you something. Go ahead. One, the last time that we seen each other, right? Um, is you had just started to get clean, right? Can you talk to me about the how how much time were you able to put together? Uh, I put them together like almost a year, if if that, like eight months a year. Okay. Around there. Yeah. How was it? It was good. It was good. I was, I was, I went to the methadone clinic. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I got kicked off the methadone clinic. Right. This will happen. I just started, you know, getting high again, like about yeah. four or five months ago. Yeah. I can see you still got your yeah. weight up. You know what happened was, uh, I'm, I'm going to the clinic. And I got myself sober because my mom was going through cancer, and I, God forbid, something would have happened. Yeah. I didn't want her to see me. I wanted her to pass away if she did, knowing I was sober. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And fucking, I was so, I would have to take her sometimes to uh, uh, the chem chemotherapy sometimes and go with her, you know? So, I told the clinic that they, they put me on contract, so you walk up too many times, so okay. you can't come back and walk off. You're gonna okay. have to attack. But I said, listen, you gotta understand, my mom has cancer right now, and I'm, my sister can't do it every day because she works. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to go with her sometimes, you know? Yeah. And they were cool with it. They did. They they uh. They let me go all the way to 150 milligrams, and then they said, "Nah, you gotta roll because you're, you're missing too many days." Oh wow! All this time I, I'm doing the right thing. You never said nothing. Now y'all got me on this hot tick. Yeah. Now it's time to. Now go. it's time to fucking go. And I told you this before you even brought me here. I told you this. Yeah. But I wasn't missing no groups or anything. You know, I bring my iPad to the chemo. And yeah do my groups with the iPad and all, okay. you know? Okay. The net is just a bunch of dicks. You're a bunch of dicks, net. You know what I mean? Real, real tough. The yeah, shit that tough. they do is fucked up. Because there's a lot of people that think, okay, you go to the net and your yeah. life changes. Fuck no. The net holds that fucking methadone right over your fucking head. Yep. They really do. That's like one of the, I understand they help people, some yeah. people they can, but they're a bunch of dicks. You know what I mean? They talk to you a certain kind. It's just fucked up, man. Yeah. I don't, I don't like them at all. You know. So, so I want, I want them getting the so fucking boot. Yeah. Like you're out. I said, you fucking kidding me? You got me on 150 milligrams of fucking methadone, bro. What am I gonna and do? And just kick you out. Yeah. Not even wean me. They said, Bill, we had you on contact and we warned you. I yeah. said, yeah, but I told you before I even came here what was going on. And you guys were okay with it. Yeah. And you were okay with it for the whole fucking six months. You were putting me up and up and up and up and you were okay with it. And now all of a sudden you're not okay with it. And it's not like I'm missing just for fucking fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I mean, still no excuse to use. I'm not trying to use it as a fucking excuse because it's not. I should just not use But coming off that methadone, it, it ain't sweet. No, hell no. 150 milligrams peak out like a motherfucker. You know yeah, what I mean? I, I couldn't imagine that. Shit. I've, I've never been on methadone, but I've never heard anybody say that it's easy to come Fuck off. No, and even even when you do do it the right way and come off, the right way is still a month or two later, you're still not sleeping. You're, you're fucking the wiggly legs and the kick legs and everything, you know? Yeah, that restless leg thing. Yeah, absolutely, man. So, uh,. So how long ago was that that you? Uh, the beginning of this year. Okay. Yeah. And then how long have you been coming back out here on a, on a regular basis? I come out, you know, once once a day. I do like two bags, you okay. know, three sometimes. But um, I don't know, man. I don't know why I fucking do it. I, I love the bullshit. I, these are my people, yo. You know yeah. what I mean? I love you, I love my folks, they understand, we understand each other, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So, uh, yeah, man, it's been wild. This summer's gonna be crazy out here, man. Yeah, I can tell this summer's gonna be... This trip, they've been shooting all the time. Every day, they're yep. just shooting bodies. Yep. Like, G Street's locked the fuck down. Yeah. Because so many people have been shot and killed, man. Yeah, can you share with me? We was talking about uh, a situation... Around the corner, that one? Yeah, without getting specific, right, right, you know what I mean? A, there's a guy going around, and he robs, he robs the robs people. You know now is I mean? it a, is it an addict or is it yeah he's an addict okay. he's a big bull you know but uh he keeps going around uh uh robbing sweet people he don't pick on nobody they got a rumble game over yeah. they're gonna go back at him yeah so uh the corner boys told him listen bro you gotta fall the fuck back stop doing that shit so they were just gonna bang him like a half hour ago hour ago yeah the boy pulled it out was gonna give it to him but um they held him back. I guess, you know, they don't want to stop the money on the block, but they're, they're already, he's, yeah. he's done. He'll you know, be done by the day. Limited, very yeah, limited. you know, it's not going to be, it's not going to be a good thing for him. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been on the regular out here. They've been banging people. It's crazy out here right now. Yeah, I seen just yeah. right yeah. in the corner that yeah. on Mother's Day, a brother got killed. Yeah. Yeah. Right there, literally. This is know, all the time around here. 50 man. feet behind me uh -huh. on Mother's Day that he got on killed. On the right side, on the left side, yep. right here across the street, like everywhere, bro. Yep. Exactly. This is every day. This is wild, wild west out here. And if the summer ain't even here yet. Yeah, exactly. When you know, when it gets hot and sweaty, people get aggravated, edgy, and. Yep, everything else. Yeah, you know how that comes with the routine, bro. Yep, everything but man, else. it's good seeing you, friend. You gotta take care good of that thing. You. You I know. You gotta take care of that thing right there, boy. Look, so he was teasing me, saying <laughs> I gained some weight. <laughs> Them rice and beans is hit. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it, it'll be off in a couple weeks yeah, here. Yeah, I was gonna be take off. a little more for a couple of weeks, boy. <laughs> I thank yeah. you, brother. Yeah, I thank it's, you, too. It's good to see you, man. Absolutely, man. Uh, I love the shit out of you, Frank. Yes, you know likewise, brother. Yes, I sir. Hope, I hope I hope you're able to get back Come on track. Come here, man. Let me give you a fucking hug in front of the camera, you fat bastard. This <laughs> <laughs> my man. Love thank you, girl. You, yes, thank sir. You. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm out, man. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.